wonderful people and if you're new to my channel welcome thank you so much for subscribing the countdown has begun we're very nearly at the magic figure of a hundred thousand subscribers thanks to you so now and again i feel i need to explain a bit who i am to you first of all i'm not adam savage's dad <laughs> Adam and I are roughly the same age. I was born in the late 50s, Adam in the early 60s. I suppose I could be his twin brother, uh, separated at birth, but I'm not his dad. <laughs> so who am I? Well, I've worked for my entire career in broadcast television, working on science and history programs. I work for Discovery Channel, National Geographic, PBS, Public Broadcasting, and for many years for the BBC, mainly making science programs. I'm a vi film and video editor, a storyteller. The thing with science, science is difficult and needs to be explained in an entertaining and not overly simple but accurate way to tell the truth. So since retiring from broadcast television, I realized that TV really sucked and social media broadcasting is much better for this amazing reason. When TV does a subject after the broadcast, it's shut. Your views, your expert knowledge, they don't care. They're never going to do a follow-up or corrections. But social media is interactive. I present you with a topic. You know more about it than I because I'm a science researcher and journalist. So together with your expert knowledge, and hopefully I add just a little to your knowledge by presenting you with the stories, telling them in an interesting way with good visuals, a bit of music occasionally, just as good science television did, but now interactive. There's so much science out there, and what I've seen recently is television does it rather badly. Gone are the days of a weekly science magazine program, such as Tomorrow's World in the UK, or an in-depth analysis of a single subject, such as BBC Horizon or PBS Nova. Sadly today, science is far more politicized, run by lobby groups, and overly dramatic pseudoscience, which no doubt sells advertising but isn't really real. So obviously annoyed and frustrated at what I see on TV, I thought in my humble way, I could bring you some of the stories that you can interact with. I know that you know your stuff. You can tell me and together we can get to the truth. So that's what you get when you subscribe to the Professor Simon channel. I'm not a professor. I'm a professor of broadcast science communication. Actually, I am. I taught that at university level. Not as science, but how to communicate. And that's really important because there's so much misinformation out there fed to you by lobby groups. Today, I'm going to tell you a classic story which is hitting your screens and your newspapers today, and it's bollocks. How many of you have seen this story? Tire pollution, mainly caused by electric vehicle particulate matter. One of my favorite shows is Fully Charged, and even they fell for this lobbying scam. And here's the same story today, in the Guardian newspaper by the so-called science correspondent. But it's not science, it's political lobbying. So let me offer you, as a subscriber, my skills of recognizing BS when I see it. So the story goes that EV tires are a worse polluter than internal combustion engine exhaust. This same story is repeated time and time again, and it's not the whole truth. The journalists who write this story are given two bits of misinformation that they seem to include in the way that they report it. Number one, 
that 90% of internal combustion pollution is now solved and the real problem are those EVs and tires. And number two, that the heavy electric vehicle sheds more particulate matter than any internal combustion vehicle? Bollocks! And this is a classic example of lobbying science, based on fact, but spun by lobby groups to distract from fossil fuel burning. Well, some of the science is probably sponsored by these companies, possibly trying to find a new pollution culprit, tires. The research often points out that internal combustion engines are cleaner than ever. And I'm sure you, the smart viewer, saw through this bit of misinformation. They're totally ignoring heavy trucks, the white diesel delivery van, the two-ton SUV. Hang on, they all have tires. Don't they shed particulate matter? Oh no, let's point the finger at those heavy electric vehicles. Ignoring the heavy diesel vans. I'm offering you years of experience of cutting through BS. I hope I can win and honor your subscription. I'm not a closed book as many science broadcasters are. Value the new interactive social media science so together we can reveal the truth. Join this new movement. Thank you.